volts to one volt, 50 to one step down in the converter, and what, it, what is that going to be? You know, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 2 percent duty ratio. Okay, and still you add the two megahertz frequency, but that's okay because you can turn on and off in 10 nanoseconds and so on. Well, you are forgetting one thing. Um, look at the uh, uh, diode in a MOSFET, a diode in a, uh, in a back converter. If it is 50 volt input and you have one volt output, that synchronous rectifier MOSFET or a diode there sees 50 volts. Actually, because it has hard switching, there is no soft switching on the back. You have, a, with the spikes you have to, and margin, you have to use 100 volt devices. And you're delivering what? You're delivering 100 amps. So that, uh, that carries a full power, that MOSFET carries full power. And 90%, 98% of duty ratio carries the 100 amps of a current. So all the power is in that MOSFET, and you're delivering 1 volt 100 amps. You're delivering 100 watts, and you're using 10 kilowatt converter. You know, I call that overkill factor of 100, right? And these people who are making gallium nitride as a devices, they, uh, they talk about figure of merit, how great is the figure of merit of gallium nitride versus the uh, silicon, etc. I agree 100% with it, and I even know better way to use gallium nitride than they do. But the problem is nobody talks about the figure of merit for uh, converters. Is this a good figure of merit that you're 100 times over killing in the power? And I had explained it to one of the companies, there are 330 companies in the U.S. In a, all making synchronous rectifier back, about $10 billion business. And one of them, I talked to them, I won't tell the CEO or CTO of their company, they said, Dr. Chuk, but we are not, use, we are not uh, taking the 10 kilowatt for that. She says, of course not, but you're buying a switch which is capable of 10 kilowatt and using it for 100 watt, right? Okay, so that's another point. So, tremendous overkill factor, the voltage is 100 volts instead of a 2 volts, compared to another converter. The current is 100 amp, and that's another point. How do you switch that current with that inductor? That inductor is not only bad because of air gap, but it's bad because it looks like a current source, and when you have a current source, what happens? You know, you have a, a turning on in 100 amps and turning off in 100 amps. How good is that? Layout at 2 megahertz, you know, all the th talk about it. I don't need that. You know, what about if my synchronous rectifier diode or diode as I showed on the right-hand side, it has a half sine wave. Starts at zero, goes to peak, and it comes down to zero. You're turning on, uh, 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 turning on a diode at zero current and turning it off at zero current. And only when, it, when the diode knows that it is switching, is in between. But at the moment, instance of switching doesn't even know that it's going to be a switch. You know what I'm saying? So layout and all the problems notwithstanding. And a voltage is two volts. I have a configuration when the voltage is equal to the output voltage. In this case, at 50%, and of course, I operate at 50% duty ratio in this converter, which is um, actually take on a, on a for, um, tap inductor, but it is not because it has three switches. And therefore, it has capacitor in series, and that allows circulating current. That capacitor in series, by the way, is also protection. You know what happens when main uh, top switch uh, get shorted if it fails short. Well, you're using 10 watt uh, VRM regulator to drive the you know 800 uh, dollar <laughs> uh, Microsoft uh, I mean uh, microprocessor, and you're killing the microprocessor because suddenly you're going to see 12 volt instead of one volt. In this case, the capacitor in series is automatic protection because the capacitor in series and the output capacitor for the capacitive divider, and that is actually can be di designed so that even if the input switch fails short and it's turned on, well the output will see just uh, uh, ratio of the two capacitance, which is uh, one volt or less, okay? But anyway, these are side issues. So the point is, uh, this configuration, not only uh, these are problems with the buck, and these are no problems with the, what I call it, chuck buck two. I kind of came up with that, that name because originally I have another converter, isolated converter, which is a 